Welcome once again to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamache and what we have this time is the Tojito Awagami or Blue Steel Deba 150mm knife. Uh, model number is F975 for clarification. The uh, construction on this is two layers. It's a single sided kind of chisel grind, single bevel, shouldn't say single sided, single bevel uh, chisel grind style blade. This is oriented around a right handed user. Uh, I'm left handed, somebody holding it that way, but it's meant for a right hand user. The um, core cutting edge steel is Awagami Blue Paper uh, number two, reactive high carbon steel. He treats uh, typically around 62 Rockwell for that core steel. The cladding is soft iron and the cladding is on the right side of the blade. It does cover the spine and comes to just the top of the left side of the blade. You can see a little bit of that cladding right there. And so it's a two layer construction. You've got uh, you know, a pretty big chunk of steel here. These are you know, by design thick, heavy, and stiff. And you can see where the grind starts and the blade road starts down towards the edge. And you can see the core steel with a different shade in this uh, kind of Kasumi or cloud finish to it. And then you can see a tiny kind of micro bevel right on the edge, the actual sharpened edge. So they did put a little bit of an edge bevel on this. The um, weight and dimensions can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 252 grams or 8.9 ounces. Edge length is 161 millimeters or 6.35 inches. And then the overall length is about 297 millimeters on this one. Spine thickness, this one is about 7.6 uh, coming out of the handle. And then I measured about uh, 6.7 halfway down. And then you can see it kind of thins out a little bit. And then you can see that chisel grind there and there where it thins out towards the actual edge. So again, this is a right-handers single bevel knife. The blade height is typically tall in this style, and in this one is 52.3 millimeters at the back of the heel. Handle is a D-shaped right-hander oriented uh, hoe wood with a resin or plastic ferrule that's got a little bit of a kind of a rubbery, slight rubbery texture to it. Um, you've got a little bit of a step here with the wood this is like a sleeve that comes over with the wood. And that's pretty normal for this kind of blade, or this kind of handle, I should say. Handle circumference is about 70 millimeters where the wood starts just before it hits the ferrule. And so the handle's not particularly large. There's a spot here if you want to use a pinch on this or stick your finger in there. There's a spot for that. You can stick your finger in there. Again, I'd be using it, if you're a right-hander, I'd be using it like that. The, uh, this really was pretty darn sharp out of the box. Not all single bevels uh, have a really nice edge out of the box. A lot of them... Uh, you put your own on, but this particular one is a pretty dark on sharp. So is the bigger brother to this one. It's got hand engraved kanji. It's very nicely done. Nice fit and finish on this blade. I guess let's get our beauty shot here. So this is the right side of the blade as you'd be holding it. The left side of the blade is slightly concave, and that's to reduce uh, you know suction and sticking on product as you slice through it. Um, You've got some embossed kanji on the right side of the blade at the top, or excuse me, left side of the blade at the top. And then you'll see some abrasion marks around the perimeter, and that's how you sharpen the back side of these. Basically, they lay exactly flat on the stone and abrade away the burr that you get from sharpening the front side of the blade, the right side of the blade. But, you know, nice, nice looking package. Uh, it's a little hard to tell that you actually want to put these on the stone and sharpen them to see how good the blade road is and how well it's ground, but they appear to be pretty well ground and pretty straight as well. So I'm not really going to do a cutting board, you know, demo on this because it's usually handheld and the, again, the whole purpose, as you probably know if you're watching this video, is this knife is to process fish and you typically will size the blade to the kind of fish you're doing uh, to make an appropriate match. So they've got this on the 150, the 165, and the 180, depending on the size of the fish that you're processing with it. So this is the Tojiro Aogami or Blue Steel Deba 150 millimeter knife, model number F-975. There you go.